on my video today and welcome to another um, week for my Hello Christmas series. We're going to do a fun project today. It's going to be simple and um, I know that you're going to enjoy it. So we're going to use the Happiness is Cheer stamp set. And you guys, the only reason I got this stamp set was really for the sentiments, which I know is a little bit sad because the images are really cute. They just kind of required coloring. And you guys know I, I'm not, I, I don't love coloring. So we're going to use the sentiments off that. And then we're going to use this Baker's box. And I know it looks a little bit intimidating. You get them in a package and they come like this and you open it up and it may feel a little overwhelming, but I promise you they are so simple to put together. You're just going to start by folding on all of the creases, just like so. And they'll fold really easy. Everything's already scored. And then once you have everything folded, you're gonna lift up this piece. So you want the piece with the cut out hole facing you. You're gonna lift this piece up and you see it has this little flap. And then you're gonna bring the sides of your boxes up. Oops, I didn't crease those. Okay, so you bring the sides of your boxes up and there's two little notches right here. And they're going to fit right into the notches on the bottom. So they'll just go right onto the bottom. And then this piece you just fold over. And you push those notches right into those holes as well. So that is going to be really the easiest part of the box. And it's going to hold everything together. So then this piece is just going to come up and over. And it goes together just like that. So if you wanted, you could put a little bit of adhesive on these two flaps right here, and then it would stay together when the lid was open, but you don't have to. So then you have this great little baker's box, and that is going to be the hardest part of our project. So I've taken one of my stitched circle dies, and I've just cut out some pool party cardstock, and then I have Poppy Parade ink, and we're going to use one of the sentiments from the stamp set. Just like this, it says time for happiness and cheer. And then we have a couple pieces over here. So the paper that I'm using today is the Santa's Workshop paper. And I actually have this paper out because this is what I'm using to document my December and my Project Life album. And I'm gonna be talking about that in my very next video. And so you guys will see that. So I've just pulled out two pieces that um, I like. I'm using this green striped piece. And this is a 12 by uh, 12 inch piece. And then it is three inches. So it just reaches over three inches. And this is 12 inches. And then I took a piece that is three inches. So this is three by three. And I'm just going to attach these two together. I want it to be a little bit longer than what it is. And so I just need to attach this piece. And you actually don't even have to do this if you don't want. This just makes it to where it's a little bit more of a finished um, look. And starting today, today, this video is posting on Friday. And so starting today, Stampin' Up! is having their Black Friday sale. You should have got an email from me if you're signed up to get my emails. You would have got an email from me yesterday sharing everything that's on sale. And then if you have any questions, you can always email me if you need help getting in an order. Um, there are three different days where you will have three different um, things that are on sale. So make sure you check out my website because all of those details are on my website. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pull this over. Now we're not going to put the tape on the top here. I just want to get a good crease and make sure that everything's nice and tight. And I just use my fingers to crease the edges. And I want to hold, I did it this way so that I could hold that down. 
So then what you can do is flip it upside down. You would put your treats in your box. This is going to be a belly band, so it's going to be easy to get off if you don't want um, to tear the paper. Right? We go through all the work to make this beautiful box, and then we don't want the paper to get torn. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of snail here and line this up and press it down just like that. So this way, this wraps all the way around the box and then it'll slide on and off the box to get the treats out. And you could put anything in here. You could put, it says food safety, so you could put cookies or candies or baked goods, but you could also put other treats in here too. You could get some, you know, mini lotions from Bath and Body Works and add that to it. Um, it would be fun to do like um, a pair of Christmas socks and um, maybe some nail polish. It would be just a cute little box. It's a great size. It's not too big. So a couple little treats would fit great in here. So now for this piece, this is to a two inch strip and it's 12 inches. So you can see it does not reach all the way around, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of snail on these flaps. We'll bring them up and attach them. And then same thing over here, just a little bit of snail. And you'll see why it won't matter in just one minute. So, and then I'm just gonna make sure that this is lined up and pulled pretty tight, okay? So now we can set this aside and we can finish working on this piece. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put some of my foam on the back. I want it to pop up a little bit, so I'm just using my foam that I made using Fun Foam. And then we're going to use a little bit of liquid glue And I'm going to set this right on here, and then I'm going to set this block on here so that it will dry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that Santa's workshop paper, and we're going to find an image. You could use any of the images. I'm going to go ahead and use the Santa with the list. And I'm just going to fussy cut him. And I'm leaving a little bit of a white border around him, so I'm not getting real close to the image. Now, if you have the Santa's workshop, the stamp set that coordinated with this, I don't have that stamp set. I didn't get it. Um, but there's dies in that set, and then you could also stamp this image and then you could color it. So the great thing about this is you don't have to color if you don't want to color. And this paper is a specialty paper, so it has flocked his hat. Um, the little pieces on his hat are all flocked. And so that makes it really fun and gives it a little bit of an added texture. So you just cut this out. And you can see it's going relatively fast. And I'm not being too terribly, it doesn't have to be terribly perfect. You're just going around the the image here and even around his little hand it doesn't have to be perfect now you can do a lot of different things you can add a little bit of color to this if you wanted what I'm gonna do is just take my wink of Stella and add some glitter right to his suit and to his hat and then that's I really feel like that's all I need to do since he already has some flocking on him and then we can just add another piece of foam to this and then our project is really almost done you guys it's basically done so this is a great project um if you had to do a couple of these if you wanted to, to do these for office gifts um they, they would be great a host gift would be great so i'll just put that right on there and then I'm going to put that clear block on there and then what i'm going to do is i have a little bit of poppy parade I was really zoomed in. I hope that you guys saw all that coloring and stuff. I was not even looking at my camera, you guys. I'm so sorry. So I just have a little bit of Poppy Parade ribbon. And I have way more than I probably need. Let's not waste that much, I feel like. Let's do the bow closer to the edge here. So I want you guys to kind of see how I'm doing this bow. 
and then you just this ribbon is really great it's the weaved ribbon and so you're really going to be able to get a good bow on this so you just keep working with it tighten it when you need to hopefully I have a feeling that you guys weren't able to see much when I was doing that so I apologize about that so I'm just going to grab my glue dots and add a glue dot to this ribbon and then I'll put the ribbon right there on top of the box and there is our baker's box with our time for happiness cheer and our little Santa that has a little bit of glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is I think week seven of our Hello Christmas series. Super simple projects for you guys this Christmas season. I have a couple more coming up. Don't forget to head over and check out that cell. 10% off all items in the annual catalog. There's a couple exclusions. So you'll just want to check that out. But for the most part, all of the things in the annual catalog are 10% off, which is just like getting uh, your shipping for free if you spend $60. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed this project. I'll have another video out with the an update on my Project Life album. So thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later. so much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos here are two other of my most recent videos i would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will catch you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful day